believe me and the dog got ourselves in a bit of a fat spot here. Doesn't look thick back that way, but it really is. This whole area right here, um, I don't go through it too often just because it's so thick, but water, uh, we've had a lot of rain here lately, and with all the rain we've had, this whole area has kind of been flooded a little bit. So I wanted to come through here and kind of see, now that the rain, the water's come down some, I wanted to see what the levels look like in here, um, where I can kind of get to and where I kind of can't get to. Because I have all idea that this, if the water's going to drop a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to drop too much more for the next couple, at least probably in another month or two. Um, which will end up being good for springtime because it'll make fishing good. But right now it's still it's still squirrel season and it is also I know there's a lot of hogs in here right now that the water's pushed them in here and um, I've done seen one one dove so I'm hoping I might can end up cleaning up on some hogs maybe and if I can't maybe see if I can't get a squirrel or so or two but it's very kind of chilly out here today and uh windy very very windy but right now we're tucked up in here and all these vines are missing it's kind of blocked a lot of the wind but probably gonna go a little bit further till it winds up and opens up in here um which ain't much further probably another 100 yards or so and um me and dog will probably stop for a snack and uh just kind of really just enjoying today because it's, it's cold it's 52 degrees it's supposed to be a high like 52 today with like 20 or 30 mile an hour winds. So it's gonna be clear, cold and sunny. So that's the kind of weather I really like to get out here in. All right, so we finally made it to um, where it's a little more open, a little more pines and a few more hardwoods in this little section right here. Mostly pine though, small pine. Um, I was kind of hoping I was gonna find a decent little spot to set up come back and set up a um, makeshift sort of a temporary shelter um, in this little area because I don't have one in this area I have one in other areas but I don't have one here and I haven't really found a decent spot I like yet There's a lot of game traffic through here so if I can find a decent little spot I will and I'll make it that um, we'll see um, let's see. You get better. Kind of see how it looks. Dog. But. Just out here. Let's see. Looks like it kind of gets a little bit higher. Um, back up in here. And if that's the case, which looks like it's a lot more thicker pine. So I'll probably hit that spot. And that may end up being where I put it. Because I like to put some of these. I've got multiple temper, And I don't show them on videos for various reasons. But mostly because I just don't feel like filming that part. Because it's a lot of work setting up some of these temporary shelters. But um, I like having some of these temporary shelters. Well, I call them temporary shelters. There's shelters you could probably live in, you know, for a couple weeks on end. But I, I build them to where there's a frame for them. And I provide the final cover, basically a tarp or a space blanket or a trash bag or, or whatever. Or it's either that or, you know, a worst case scenario, I have um, the frame already built. I can come here and um, add in more leaves and sticks or such to finish the shelter off that's how i build them with that in mind i also construct them using very heavy weight uh, jute twine so and the reason i do that is so that if something were to happen and i not be able to come back here for months and months and months on end um because i don't own this land it'll just rot away and karma 
Come here. She's just wandering off, but it'll rot away, and you know there'll be sort of no trace left for it of it. And um, I won't be leaving behind paracord because paracord's kind of expensive, as well as any other kind of synthetic um, cordage. And using jute twine. I've had very good luck with jute twine holding up for six or eight months, especially the heavier weight kind. So, I may, uh, if I can find a, a good spot here, um, I may come back next week and build that temporary shelter. And if I can come back and build that temporary shelter next week, I'll try and do a video on it. I'm going to be very busy over the next couple of weeks, so I'll attempt to do that. Um, just to kind of show you how I do one version of my temporary shelters. So, we're going to uh, okay, see now. This looks very promising. You can see the down where it uh, most likely tree fell on top of it. Yeah, that's what it looks like happened because here's rotten bits of it there. But most likely a tree fell on top of it, bend it over, and um, it just grew that way. So, this right here is kind of what I like to find. Um, it's already got a nice, good shape to it. You know, I can come up here, I can lay stuff on each side, create an A-frame, and make a nice good shelter. Granted, that's not going to be a good summertime shelter, but it would be a good wintertime, fall, even in the springtime shelter. Um, it, this is actually a pretty good location because there's nothing really overhead right here to fall on me. Um, this kind of has a lot of promise, but the one thing that sucks is you can't really tell it, but right here going along right there is a game trail and a pretty active one at that because i just scared three deer from right here so this kind of gives you an idea of what i like to find though and there's a single shot 20 gauge laid up there so you kind of see how high that is that's probably about waist high on me which is really good height and the other good thing about this spot right here is it's kind of high up anyways um there's a swamp up over here. It's a little bit lower over here as well as over here. So this would make a really, really, really excellent site. Except for having that game trail. You don't want to have that game trail, you know, running right through where your shelter is. So I'm going to look a little bit further. If I can't find another spot up in here, it may just may be a bust to find a spot in here for what I want. So, All right. So we kind of come up bust with trying to find a shelter spot. There's one spot behind me that I'm going to check out. And it may have a little bit of potential, but I don't, the spot I don't look too promising for a shelter spot. But even if I don't find a shelter spot, I'll find a spot. I've seen a couple of little spots that I can come to and um, use them as sort of a, like a day camp um, to practice things. Um, Right here where I'm at right now um, is actually one of those spots because it's very clear over here. There's a nice good stump over here just burning, falling over log that I can use as sort of a um, like a windbreak if I want to build a fire or anything like that during the day. So at least there's that. And there's a lot of resources in here that I can use. Um, a lot of vines. This is actually a great vine. I cut into it just to see if I could get any water out of it. And it is dripping water. So there's lots of resources here. Um, I've seen lots of blueberry bushes. I've um, seen lots of fat lighter. Uh, there's a lot of springy poles, uh, small saplings that I can use to help practice on traps and stuff. So um, this this will probably end up being a good spot for me to come to. Um, the other thing I like about the spot is it's fairly easy for me to get to. So if I don't have but a couple hours, I can come out and get to this spot very easily. So. That's pretty much all I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I'm going to check this one little spot out behind me. I'm going to circle back through these woods. And that's going to be it. Um, really, I just wanted to enjoy the day because it's nice out. And um, I wanted to get this right here out. I don't know how well you can see it, but this is just old waxed or old cloth haversack that I've had for anywhere from 12 to 15 years now 
and I it is probably my most used piece of um, gear that I've, I have I have used it for so many 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 hunts many many day trips to the woods many scouts um, it's just it's just seen a ton a ton of use and it's got a few little um, spots in it where you know it's called a thorn or something like that and it's poked a little hole into it but other than other than that man it's, it's just it's still solid and I like carrying it out here sometimes um, especially for just being out here for a couple hours it holds you know everything I need plus a few emergency things and I just I just enjoy it um, it's kind of one of those pieces of equipment that I've talked about before I posted online before about how you know you just you've just used it so much and you've done so much with it that you could kind of just have it in any situation and you're going to feel kind of comfortable with it it just gives you a sense of security you know knowing that you have that reliable piece of equipment and this is one of those things for me so is this right here this is kind of like my ultimate my preferred woods gun um it's a stevens model 94 78 20 gauge i bought this from a local gun shop um i got it at a very good price I, i'm a 20 gauge person when it comes to shotgun over 12 gauge i've just always have been i love 20 gauge i've it kill anything i need to um I've killed everything from turkeys, squirrels, hogs, deer with it, and this right here will will do the job. Um, I when I bought it, it had like white paint from on the stock and stuff from riding around in somebody's truck, and uh, I refinished the stock myself. Um, and it's got some very beautiful, beautiful wood on it. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but you can kind of see. And it shoots very good. Um, I got an old sling that I also had for probably close to 10, 15 years too. It's an old leather sling. Um, this thing will put slugs in a grouping the size of your fist at 50 yards with a bead sight. So it's a damn good gun. Um, it's kind of like my preferred uh, woods gun um, and hunting shotgun so it's just an utter reliable gun uh, so yeah I mean that's pretty much it for this video I wanted to show and tell that those two things and uh, just show one of I wanted to show the location of where I was going to build a temporary shelter but unfortunately that's not going to happen today which sucks because I really wanted to find one but if I do end up finding one, or the spot behind me ends up looking like it's going to work, what I'll do is uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to come out here and um, maybe work on it a little bit and kind of show you guys what I like to do, um, my thought process, and delve a little more into it um, than I already have talked about. And, um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm a so I'm going to have her sack back on, grab my gun, and me and the dog's going to take off. So if you have any questions, um, let me know. If you want to know more about, say, like the have sack, uh, just let me know. Um, I know a lot of people find interest in have sacks and shoulder bags like this. So just kind of let me know.